have it. Uh, new project, obviously. Um, beautiful chunk of this uh, redwood. Like I said, probably 400 years old, as you can see by the grain. Well, you can't see the grain. Let me do it this way. As you can see by the grain, super tight. And uh, this is just a little piece. Don't worry about this little crack because it doesn't, where my finger, the little crack because it only goes that deep and it's not where the guitar cutout is. So I'm uh, going to cut a blank out of this and then run it through the uh, drum sander. Uh, got a couple of cool ideas for this one. Gonna gonna make something a little artsy fartsy with it, uh, as as uh, I'd oppose not like that kind of artsy fartsy. Something a little more uh, art nouveau, I guess. I don't know what it is. A little more designer to it. So uh, cool. Um, hey, let's build. The uh, guitar is missing something here, which is not a problem because that's gonna be part of our artsy fartsy thing going on. Cool. Safety first, guard down, glasses on, always keep your hands away from the blade, just how we roll. see we got rough cut rough cut is awesome and what we are going to do with this missing part is I'm going to make this beautiful piece of flame maple kind of like that there I'm gonna stand it up on uh, on a piece of brass I'll, I'll show you how we're gonna do that in a little bit but uh, this actually came from the, the Fender Custom Shop. Um, it didn't meet muster because it had that in the middle of it. So they cut it out and threw it away. And I said, well, thank you very much. So, yeah, they let me have it. And uh, that was back when I worked for Fender. And I've been wondering what to do with it. Uh, now I found out what we're going to do with it. We are going to make a piece like this that's going to fit on top of that there. And uh, sweet. So let me mark this off and cut it out in the bandsaw and see what see, we can do here. Actually, while I'm looking at this, uh, this thing is totally going uh, by the, uh, we're going to do this one by the, just the hair of our chinny chin chin. Never a pencil. Drawer full of pencils and there's never a pencil sharpened when you need one. There we go. All right. Uh, so what I want to do is I actually want to get more, more of a cut on this. I want to do something quite drastic, actually, all the way across. Oh, well, we're going to have to start from there, so all the way across there. So don't have a problem with that. Going to draw the straight line there. Uh, I'm going to get uh, my bandsaw on that and then probably the sander. So, yeah, and then that's going to come across there, and then we're going to have a piece of brass. I'm actually. drawing a uh, straighter line there, and we're going to see how straight of a line we can cut with a bandsaw. I'm pretty, pretty good at the bandsaw. One of the tricks with the bandsaw is to just take your time, let the saw, the blade's going to go where the blade's going to go. So if you get a little intuitive with it, you can see when it's going to turn and when it's not going to turn. The biggest thing is just go slow and, and you'll feel how it pushes through. Cool. Right now, as you can see, we've got this cut off a little bit more than I wanted. And if you, uh, like I said, if you take your time, you can get pretty dang straight with the, uh, with the, with the bandsaw. I lied. I cheated. I, I used this afterwards. He <laughs> just gave it a little, uh, gave a little foot foot across there. Obviously, I've got a chip in my my uh, blade and I need to get new blades for that bad boy so but this is what I wanted I wanted a little bit more of a little bit more angle to the dangle don't worry about this part of it that's all what looks like it's all chewed up because uh, what I'm gonna do is just run that through the run that through the planer and and it'll all be perfectly flat sweet now let's get this piece drawn and uh, where's where's my flame maple at there it is Get my flame maple over here. 
Let's get this piece drawn up and look at the figure in that. That is going to be gorgeous. Right, cool. Here's our body with the piece missing. And then this is what we're going to do with that. Uh, we're going to add this flame me maple onto there. And I'm going to use a, instead of, I've seen it done with uh, with like copper posts or brass posts or something like that. Again, I'm just going to use one flat bar of, uh, one flat bar of brass. Um, so it'll be, it'll be cool. Uh, nice. There we go. Let's cut this bad boy out. Away we go. A little sand and a little, uh, Sweet piece, man. The figure on that is just incredible. Wait till the, the wax and the lacquer or the oil or whatever I end up putting on that one goes to. Yeah, that's what happens when you're a multi-million dollar company and you can buy multi-million dollar worth of wood. Like uh, Bob Taylor. Well, with Bob Taylor, um, a lot of people bagged on him like, dude, of course your guitars are perfect. You have millions of dollars to spend on wood. That day, I believe, he went out to the uh, he went out to the dumpster, uh, pulled a pallet out of the dumpster, and uh, if you go to the Taylor factory for the tour today, it's called the Pallet Guitar, and he made a guitar out of oak pallets, and it sounds phenomenal. So, no, you don't need uh, millions of dollars worth of wood, you just need uh, a well-crafted, I mean, obviously wood helps, but... You need a well All right, like I said, this is a uh, kind of a work of art in progress, a work of progress in art. I think we're going to do this uh, this horn too. I think we'll just go straight across there and then bring it out with uh, some more of this flame maple. Cool. Let's draw it out and Clean see line. I think that'll work wonderfully. We're going to round that off with my uh, with that guy right there, spindle sander. So we'll uh, whack this off on the on the bandsaw. See if I, how straight of a line I can get there round that off and then we'll fill that in with that so cool piece that's how that uh ended up being but uh, because this is such amazing wood and it would be just flat out wasteful to cut that out of the middle of this what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a paper template and then uh, move this piece probably over to here and uh save wood because i can still make uh acoustic bridges or whatnots who knows out of this stuff so this stuff is gold so i'm going to save as much of it as I can so I'm just gonna make a little template out of this and uh, move it over here and then cut it out of the band much better that's a lot less wasteful because then I got all this like I said there's an acoustic easy an acoustic bridge right there I made sure a couple things one was that the uh, that the the flame rays were going the same way and the grain was going the same way so it doesn't look like a like completely different but uh, yeah there we go okay let's cut this bad boy out <laughs> all right totally happy with this i'm digging it i really am we'll round that off and round that off make it all ergonomically correct and uh when this stuff gets sanded and uh and i know it looks kind of like a old ratty piece of wood but when it gets sanded and done right uh, that's what it turns into with the proper oil and stuff like that. So it'll it'll look like this right here. So beautiful. Um, yep, it's family movie night. So I'm gonna call it a night. Probably get back after it in the morning. But uh, we're gonna kick back with the with the kids and with the boys and and uh, have a little family music movie night. Movie night. Like, subscribe, love you, peace out.